Hey, so last time I told you that I wouldn't know where the heck I am. So this time I don't know where the heck I am. So I mean, there's, so, I mean, there's, I mean, there's a squirrely balcony and there's death all around. So I could be oh, somewhere, but I kind of just went to there maybe. So I guess I could be. I don't even know where the hell am I. Just is, is this the party in the state? No, this is not the party in the state. That was, how far back was that even? Jeez, I don't even remember. Well, excuse me while I get reacquainted. Oh, yeah, this was the building that you can see it from the end. Yes, I get the joke now. I get this joke now with the picture and the <laughs> Sometimes I'm just really oblivious. Sometimes I'm dirty joke impaired. It's pretty <laughs> dirty. I still don't know what that's tears means, but hey. So presuming that there's actually something more to do out here, uh, it's a castle. I guess, I mean, Tuttleshang and Associates, the West Side Warehouse, I've been there, so, yeah, I mean, I just can't see where I'm on this map, because here's rounded balconies, but where, like, I'm, I'm over here somewhere, but I don't see any rounded, I mean, there's this, am I there? Because it looks like, looks like that's not quite what it looks like, <laughs> if you get, if you get my drift. Well, I don't know, I guess I'll just take a look, I'm gonna have to go back through that frickin' room, well, not through that, but, like, into the area of that frickin' room again, though. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, seriously, like, I don't know why people say it's easy to get your bearings. Everything looks the same here, like, honestly, you have to be constantly looking at your map every three seconds to keep your bearings. Your bearings, or your bearings. I mean, am I... How many? Three? Three bumpy, bumpity windows? Well, I guess it's from above, so... Yeah, there's, there's nothing over there. It's like, am I... Tuttle Shank and Associates. Where? Literally! Oh, hang on a second. Okay, so I'm around here. Presumably this is the warehouse, but exactly how this... I mean, yeah, like, what's that? There's not... Uh, is there a thing with two stairs? Okay, that's... But that's on the south side. This is the north side. So, I don't know what the thing with two stairs would be if it's facing north. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's... If, I, I just have absolutely no idea. But anyways, as I was saying... Over here looks interesting because it almost looks like you can get down here, and if you can get down here, and that's a plate, it looks kind of like the Seven Sisters. It's amazing. Then that means that oh, this isn't the street, so this is this is new. Though the right might look newer, take a left at the sewer, and you're in yes, you're in, you're in. Yeah. Say, say the right notes, fan. I'm getting better at singing the right notes slowly but surely. Oh, another flash bomb. Great. I love those. I love to be flashed by a bomb, not blown up by one, but just having it bear its nudity to me. I sure do love that. Oh, but wait, it's probably just a... It's a little... It's a little housey house. Okay, good. Or at least neutral. But that doesn't tell me... What I was actually looking for, which is, uh, hey guys, here's some exciting fun, but wait a minute. I came down from there, but I can still, okay, never mind. Exciting fun postponed, but wait. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You see, you don't create the stopman. What you do is you just chip away at the block until everything that isn't the stopman is gone. Uh. Now the word stop is gonna make me go like <laughs> a bit because yeah reasons if I wasn't so more respectful than some people think me I might be like even less respectful than, oh wait a minute have I been here pretty sure that there was a guy standing up there am I wrong am I wrong maybe maybe it's just a look-alike plate nope there was the dude so okay then because I just forgot to go in there awesome and this, though. This, though. I think I've been up here. Hey! Guess what? You guys get to wait for another loading screen. It's the loading screen. Can't believe this cartoon is just all the loading. Yep. So, this is even north or still, and now I have, like, zippo idea whatsoever at all where I am. <laughs> oh, but wait. I th think I'm in the right... Could there be the door I'm looking for over here? 
Frox, I believe. Boy, I haven't said that in a while. Oh, yeah. What kind of disgusting junk? It's the mechanical eye. Uh. Oh, their objectives? Drop the. Drop the smuggled good. What? No! I did drop the smuggled goods into the crate, and I locked. Oh, leave the key where I found it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow, I didn't notice these were objectives. How the hell did I not notice that? Literally, you'd think I. You'd think I would. You would think. You'd be wrong. Anything else that he's in here? No, just... Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, okay, I'm almost at my freaking loot goal. That's great! Okay, let's imitate Karis once again. Ah, uh, someone has stolen my eye. How then will the plot continue in the canonical fashion? Yes. Maybe Connell is Karis. Just really good at voices. Who would have thought? And that brother is just some other random brother nobody cares about. Okay, so with that out the way, I'm gonna go back to the warehouse. Or the warehouse, as I like to say if I'm being annoying. And, wait a minute. Oh, is it here? And drop that key. Because I think I found it around there somewhere, and if not, well... <laughs> I have absolutely no idea then. Uh, no, 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 no. I found... Mm. The crate key, yeah, I'm pretty sure I found it around there, so like, yeah, let's just, let's just say that. Oh, but wait. There's something up there. Oh. Alrighty, well, enough of that. Yeah. So, as I was doing. Mm. I'm a gentleman. Sometimes people tell you gentlemen's are boring, but... I guess I'm just boring. In statement. Okay, let's get back up here. I guess I should cut, but I mean, there's a tilted statue. Who the heck wants to cut that? I like how you can jump up on trees. I don't think that was always the case back in the day. And, you know, the fact that it is the case now just fills my heart full of warmth and uh, actual literal fire. Uh, excuse me while I pour this glass of water on my heart. And I rip my chest open first. Oh, here I am at the warehouse. So, the crate key, I. Was it, like, somewhere around here? There you go. Alrighty, so... If I want to, I guess I could just go to the cathedral. Yeah, I... There's probably more to explore in town, but... Pretty sure I've gotten the bulk of it. However, I just actually... Want to take a bit of stock here, so if I say... Which way? I think I'm going back through. If I go back through here to a place where I know where it is on the map, right? So here should, in theory, be the Ald Blablidid's place. So I thought there was supposed to be a lady here who talks, according to the readme, but I mean, what the hell do I know? I mean, she's asleep, but. Does she, like, should she do something funny if I wake? Can I wake her up? Like, seriously? Does she talk? Or did I just knock out whoever it was? <laughs> yeah. I mean... You look like a female noble? I'm not really sure. Maybe I... Yeah, I like it. Maybe you're the female noble? Ah, <sighs> you probably said something funny. You don't look like a noble, though. You look more like a servant. You probably said something funny, but... Okay, so... If I just go up on the statue... If I can, then... No, I guess not. If I just go up on this tree and look over there, so there's the St. Ives Cathedral. So I'm pretty sure I'm at the Alderud Estate or whatever, Sandstorm. So, therefore, if I just... If I just go down... Yeah, like, if I just go down through here... And just keep going so and, and just keep my bearings... So this is the south side of the estate. And then I go this way, so that means I'm now, I guess, like, over there. So, yeah, the warehouse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Presumably. Is through here. I apologize if this is, like, really not exciting gameplay, but, you know, hey. Which means I probably jumped through that building, maybe. I don't know what these things are on top. I don't know, but now I guess I'm at the warehouse, right? So that means that 
I don't think I can go north directly from here, but if I kind of go over this way to the south of it... Oh, I see some... It's just, I want to know if I can, if that round tower is where I ended up or not, because I suspect this map might be, like, inaccurate sometimes or something. But I kind of go, yeah, all the way. Yeah, see, now I'm starting to go over this way again, so that's probably, there is maybe where I was. But, okay, well, maybe if I go to the cathedral, I can go off the left side of it. It's just, I'm interested... To, you know, go to Tuttleshank and Associates, because it, look like it looks like I'm not getting any further north this way. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But it looks like I'm kind of going the totally wrong direction over here, because this is, I think, the tower, or whatever it was, the castle-y place, which I guess is that. Probably. So, yeah. Or it's that, possibly. But that's, yeah, nowhere near where I want to be, really. Also, did I ever go to the Castle Valerius? Maybe I could quickly check over there as well. Hmm. I mean, this is fun for me because I want to explore everywhere, but I don't know. Maybe you guys just want me to, like, get our way, get to the cathedral! Oh! You're probably the female noble. Well, that's unfortunate. So, so yeah, I guess, I guess maybe the cathedral... I'll go there, and then I still won't go in properly. I'll sort of skirt around the edges and just try to find things because... So yeah, it definitely looks like there's stuff over there. Huh. Am I? Oh, that's those. Have I been down there though? I think I have. Yeah, so... How do I get it? How do I get over there? Maybe I... See, I don't know. There's always the possibility that I just have to go <laughs> to the cathedral in order to do anything. That's always possibility. <clears throat> Dang it! Ugh! Wait, so... Does this take me anywhere? Wait, this is just this, which means... Did I not go this way before, or is it just gonna... Oh. Uh, for the tease. Yeah, I think I've been... So that's just the cathedral. Yeah, okay. In that case, what is the freaking fastest way? Because I, I, I'm I, pretty sure that I went on that balcony. So that means I did get over there to the left somewhere. Okay, so I'm back here in this tower. You remember this tower? Uh, I think it leads me to the place with that dirty room and all of that. If I... Guys, I have no idea. Okay, I think I went up here. <sighs> Uh, well, this is exciting, ain't it now? Surely that has to be this, even though the butcher seems to be, like, right here, so I don't even know. I guess this, yeah, this place... Anyway, could I... could I find the way forward, please? That wasn't the butcher's. That was the other place where he was talking to the butcher, which means who knows. Right, so here's this place, you know, this place, which I think is near the cathedral. It might even be right behind me. I guess I jumped out of a top window of the tower. Fair enough. Right, so yeah, there's the cathedral over... Over there, and the ladder was slightly where I didn't... Hey guys, guess what? It's no material! <sighs> or... Or is it? Yes, it is, yeah. For a minute I thought I couldn't get over there, and it was just a tease. <sighs> but anyways, let's go... <clears throat> into the cathedral now, and again... I, I guess... I really did kind of just go everywhere I could over that way. Yeah, so Tuttleshank is over there, and I did go to there. That's the guy that was like, Tuttleshank, let me yell at you. You know what I'm talking about. So yes, freaking cathedral, and look how beautiful it is. And actually, this is kind of interesting because there was no, there was not much hammer stuff <coughs> in Thief 2. So to make a hammer chapel is actually... Possibly impressive or something. Uh, oh, what? Wait a minute, really? All of that and I can't even go to mass or... Speech or whatever the heck it's called. You know, sermon. Who knows? But it's probably a good idea I can't... Go to mass because you don't want to be in a crowd. Yeah, so... You can't go down that lower door. Just... Hell nah. Have to go upstairs and then go into the roof. Enforced mission impossible. 
rule. Sometimes I extend my sentence so that I can sort of cut at a comedically opportune time. Because the secret to comedy is just if you, uh, if you say something that isn't on a good comedic beat, you just extend it until the next comedic beat, and then you just cut. And it's just brilliant, okay? Just, all you have to do is cut. Tap your cut key, you know. And you're good. Oh, hey, guess what? This seems like a bit of deja vu. No, I can't use my eight moss arrows. That would be waste for my friends, and the talking possum would really get on my case then. That was a comedic beat. So yeah, some people will tell you that comedy is hard. <laughs> oh man, comedy is easy. Honesty is hard. Sincerity is hard. Standing up there and saying serious stuff, that's hard. Because if you're doing comedy, then you could just, you know, if you make a joke, then people laugh, and that's cool. And if you say something that's embarrassing, well, people laugh, and you could just pretend that you said it on purpose as a joke, and it's cool. And if you suck at comedy, you can just pretend that that's part of the joke, and it's ser you just seriously. But when you're being serious, well, they can really stab you then. Brother Gromley, I do understand your fears. Not only does this heretic leave the order, but takes all his infernal gadgetry with him and starts a new one right next door. However, I do think you worry over much. I say it's better to be rid of this one. After all, at least now we need not worry about him blowing anyone else up with his crazed inventions. It is only a matter of time. This so-called mechanist order is but a passing fad, a blink in a lifetime, a drop in a river. Nothing to be afraid of. Karras will burn out soon, and the other heretics he's lured will seek to return. Brother Duncan, well, sort of true, but uh, with a lot more pain than you expect. Gonna have a dramatic arc, you know. This is fiction, and we are prisoners of our requirement by law to be interesting. Library rules. One, no food nor drink. Two, no singing. Quiet humming only. Three, no talking above a whisper. Four, no jokes, laughter, nor damnable silliness. Five, no novices in the restricted section. Six, reliquary access off limits to all except priests. Seven, direct all inquiries to Brother Devon. Brother Devon doth keep the company of eight beasts. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good one. That's a good one. You gonna tell the horse joke? Tell a horse joke. Like, that is a damn good joke. They say, you know, there's only one joke involving religious persons and a horse, and it's a really freaking good one, so yeah. So, do I just want to, like, traipse up the floors just immediately, or do I want to kind of not traipse up the floors just immediately? Yeah, it's a really nice place, I gotta say. Church is frequently beautiful. Unless they weren't built 1,500 years ago or something, in which case they're boring and have no need to exist at all. Also, uh... QI says that Christmas music used to just be like popular music having nothing to do with Christmas and then it was co-opted or something and it was QI so you know it's correct. But <laughs> this is why I always preface these things by saying QI said that X just so you don't think that I, you know, got it from an extremely non-serious source or something. Oh, source, force. Really? Really? There's not even a coin up here? Not even a forbidden book? Well, I guess it's realistic, and maybe I could jump up there, but do I want to risk it? No. No, I don't want to risk it in a beautiful church I'm a jig. Because, you, I don't know, man. There's a lot of, there's a lot of beauty that I don't want to defile. Not for any sacrilegious reasons, but just because... You know what? I mean, I... Oh, what? Do I, does this room look familiar? Yeah, I've been in here last time, didn't I? What? <laughs> uh, wait a minute, Brother Embry. Isn't Brother Embry the pagan guy? Well, he talks differently. What does he talk like? Uh, if not me, then who? Uh, Brother Cap. This is a bad imitation. This is not my. This is not my character. Brother Cavill, worry not about blessing the grave with cheese at midnight as part of your duties. There's no ghost of Brother Burris, the graveyard keeper from the time of the great catastrophe. Tis a traditional hazing joke our less pious brethren play on newcomers to the cathedral. Do not give it a second thought, Brother Embry. I like the tie-ins. Thinketh not that I fail to see thee defacing my posters. Pursuit of knowledge is among the highest of orders we are given by the Builder himself. If thou canst not control thy childish games, thou may find thyself barred from this library. Defacing his posters? With stock vanilla asset? What? Oh, hey, that, that's a cool wagon. Just uh, saying, uh, maybe. Uh, Hmm. I kind of want 
gonna go around in there somewhere. So maybe, uh oh. Maybe one day I'll say the thing I kind of want to say. I, mean, I don't know. I just don't want to. Whoa, it's, it's. Okay, it's not a catapult, nor a cataquack, nor a Cadillac. Somebody should just make a song called Cataquack Ranch. And it's a parody, and it's about the Cataquack from Galaxy 1 or 2 or whatever. Yeah. Oh, they were still on the freaking grounds. So yeah, dude, this is like, what is... Like a big old crane that's super cool looking. Okay, wow, so yeah, this place is like as big as the city. Well, no, that's literally false. Me telling a lie on the internet. How unbecoming of me. When I say it, when I said in that one video that I lie all the time to be safe, I didn't exactly mean... Well... Shut up. I more meant... Mm, not necessarily telling a direct lie, but definitely being indirectly dishonest. I.e. making you maybe think that I think one thing when I don't. But don't we all do that because it's just the damnable thing you have to do in order to keep the wheels of sociality turning or whatever the heck. Oh, hey, I can actually unlock this now. Yeah, I better put some real content into this freaking episode by going to the church. Real content, son. In a church. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. What? Okay, this reminds me of, oh, the tomb of... The other tomb. The, not the catacomb. Whoa! What? <gasps> what? What? L literally, what? The... <laughs> Excuse me? I thought I was gonna come in here and just steal some shit? Who are you? You're a corpse. Good. Nice to meet you. It's probably healthy to be touching that dude. <laughs> you, mortal, come closer. Who are you? Not too sure. Still, you could help me. You must. Judging by your friend here, I don't believe I will. This fool? He died by his own hand. Backfired spell. You're prepared to use old magics. Now I'm trapped in here. What was the priest after? He wanted the location of an ancient record inscribed in stone long ago. Woefully out of his reach, even if I would have gotten the chance to tell him where it is. I see. And what will you do for me if I help you? I know, fool. I know you need incentive. So what is it you desire? Revenge? Love, perhaps? No. You seem more practical than that. Perhaps hold military assets. I'm listening. This is a Hellfire Ruby, created many millennia ago in my world. Many souls have been used to create it. You won't find anything like it on this plane. Free me, and it's yours. So, you would just give it away. Once back on my plane, I could find more. It means little to me. And how do I free you? You'll need a scroll of dispersal. If you don't have one, you can also make a potion of similar effect. This poor wretch likely has a recipe for such things lying around in here, somewhere. He had a potion on him. Got destroyed when the fool blew himself up. I'll see what I can find. Well, that was unexpected. Dude, you really gonna trust this guy? Connell, don't be a goddamnable idiot. <laughs> oh, it's optional even? What? That's this whole thing's optional. That's crazy. What? <laughs> is this or is this not plotline stuff? Yeah. Uh, 
D. It would seem that you were right. They were certainly searching high and low for me in Cyric and Bonn, but they have indeed turned their gaze north now. I have heard my name whispered in taverns late at night, and have seen odd, cloaked men skulking about Lampfire Hills. Fortunately, nobody knows me by that name here, but it's only a matter of time. My former colleagues are a cowardly sort, but they've got all the wealth of the Elder Regions at their disposal. We need to locate the cylinder, and soon. I found another useful recipe from that Galpernian witch. Did you know that you can actually brew your own dispersal concoctions? No more scrolls from the mages. Imagine how much money could be saved. I'm sending it along. Keep it somewhere safe. I've got a plan, but won't write it here. Let's meet next week. Same time, same place. So he's sending the recipe. But it's not here. Well, how unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal it. Okay, well, that's... 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 Freaking awesome! Oh wow, he really blew himself up, but good, didn't he? Well, yeah, dude. What? I, I seriously thought you were just gonna come in here. Like, I mean, this mission would have been great if, if it was just like, hey, it's a thieves' highway type mission, and you end with a nice cathedral romp, and you steal all this stuff. But no, we got this cool, undead, mystical, mythical, trail, but tragical, mystical, magical thing going on. We got that stuff over there. I got to remember that stuff's over there. But first. Posters. Defacing posters. Posters. Oh, wait, that must have been here that I went in before. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I should kind of just end it here because it's awkward to end it, you know, not on the dramatic note there, I guess, but... Meh. I'm just gonna take this dude out. That'll be dramatic enough. Wherever the hell he is. Oh yeah, there's the... Oh wait, this is the first floor? Excuse me. Well, I guess I'll just climb to the second floor and take him out. But watch out, the second floor is for upside down hammers only. Or people who are standing on their heads. Pretty sure that's what it means. Oh, it's just... Uh oh. Multiple rule signs. All is silent. Oh. So this key I got... I've already forgotten what it is. Reliquary key, so... No, I don't have a map of this place. I don't think so anyway. No. Oh, is this not... What? Well, how do I really get up there without jumping then, huh? Periscope control. Do I want to turn off a periscope? That sounds too cool to turn off. Posters. Mm. Brother Devon, the chalice is to be locked away in the reliquary. Have the map sent up to the restricted section for further study by the priest, Father Ira. Okay, maybe not. Well, I guess I'm not going to end it here then, because... I have zero sense of time with these. Bandicam doesn't put the time on the screen, but it's pretty much your only option if you want the high-quality stuff and you want any overlay at all. Although, you know what? I could just use OBS and use my second monitor to look at the time and see if I'm paused or recording. So, I could probably just do that and then I could be fast and like... Uh-oh. It'd be wondrous. Truly wonderful. And lovely and full of love. But not lust, because I still can't figure out how lust is supposed to be an acceptable thing. Honestly, you just want to love, and when you get into a lustful state, you just feel like a horrible monster, and then you get all fucked up in the head. It's great. And nobody else seems to have that problem, so it's just mine and mine alone time. So I guess maybe you could even just climb up here from the bottom floor too, maybe? Anyways, I should probably stop at some point. But that... That ruby... Spell summoning evil demon quest seems fun. And it seems like it would take some time, maybe, so that's cool. Well, that was my last flash bomb, so... That's... 
not the greatest rhyme ever writ. Warning, do not enter when periscopes are operational. See, okay, but why not? Why not? Oh, but you mean security cameras, do you? Okay, fair enough. <sighs> well, that seems strangely just kind of there. It's a little bit suspicious. Let me go turn off these whatever's the periscopes. And the periscope today said things would go my way. Oh, wow, I'm singing that now. Oh, the teenage memories, horrific cringe. Okie doke. No, no, no. There and also. Brother Devon, knowest I thou to be mindful of security, but needst I remind thee of the complaints we hath received? Thy disgusting habit of releasing defections into that vile bucket and slopping it out thy window to the streets below is not only unsanitary, but ill-befitting to the builder's children. It is quite expected for one to pause from daily function in pursuit of one's bowels. Surely the books can tend to themselves for a few minutes only whilst thou seekest the privy? Father Ira, if only they said the same about other necessary bodily functions. Oh, hey. <coughs> awesome. Oh, there's my loot gold, presumably. Concoction of dispersal recipe. Oh, yes. Peony. If you're not sure you can cast a spell of dispersal, you're better off not messing with these kinds of magics at all. But as your friend, I can't let you perish, so the dispersal concoction is old as world and never fails and the best part is that any harlot can cook it you don't need even be a witch before you ask no you don't need to gather them ingredients under the full moon that's a pile of doo-doo gather them and cook them whenever it doesn't matter you're gonna need four things first you need some munker mash asterisk any part of the munker will do so that's why it's called a munker because this guy talks like that but i like taking their buttocks because they're soft second crush a magma crystal they're easy to get. I get mine at the bazaar. Third, you're gonna need baby gray juice. This likely be your biggest trouble. Them crazies don't like when you take their babies from them, so try not to get your head snipped. Fourth and final, some good old black grease. Doesn't matter where you get it. Mix all that in a cup and there you go. Take me next time we blade under the red moon. Munker mash? Munker. Uh, probably a dialect from monkey. Likely needs to be ground up. Magma crystal, commonly used by the Orientals. Where they are... There's almost guaranteed to be one, which is, like, spelled correctly and not with the accent, for some reason. Yeah, so I've got those two, I guess. Baby Cray Juice. Oh, I guess I got everything. Yeah. Must be a Crayman fetus. Kokobu's soap factory is known to use Crays in their organic pro- Oh, I see. Organic products. <laughs> organic. Well, that's... That's some definition of organic. Black grease. Well, it's true. And black grease oil, often used for antenna maintenance. Mixing in a cup. The wizard west of the church should have the appropriate tools. Oh. You mean that tower? Okay. Well, I guess I'll have a look there, but... First, let's go get the cup. Maybe I'll finish this today. Uh-oh. The book. The book. The book. Well, I wouldn't want to contradict the book. Will I now? Ooh. I'm gonna waste one of these. It's gonna be glorious. Oh, but it kind of hurts me too, but that's okay. Or is it? I don't know, I think I've got a grapes here too. Oh, let's just eat some apples. Apples never done me wrong. Eat them up and be rich within the year's end. Or something. Oh, okay, so periscopes are off. <laughs> blah, 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 asshole off. Okay, so. This, yeah, yeah, I'm, I don't know. This, look, does this look really suspicious to anybody else? You can just walk away with it just like that. So this is the chalice made of humble clay. I wonder if the stories are true. <laughs> Indiana Jones style. Awesome. So I still need the maps. <sighs> well... I still need the maps, and so, yeah, so I'm just concentrating here. Got a bad feeling about this. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. 
Please, come on, please, come on, please, come on, come on, come on, please, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So like I was saying, yeah, I studied the maps. Like, I don't know, the chalice was just kind of there. I guess the main thing about this mission is the city, so... Oh, there's the maps. Oh, man, that's a beautiful map. That is a really nice map, and of course we'll be using that in Godbreak. It makes me want to play it again. This could turn out to be quite the adventure someday. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I recommend y'all play Godbreaker after this. Even if you don't like swamps. Or getting alerted when you go... Oh! Anyway, Father Ira, Ira, uh, not not Avatar. By all appearance, the map doth appear to be authentic. We recommend sending for Brother Armin to authenticate it further. Should it be verified soon, we could make for the tomb by spring. It is a shame nobody thought to copy old Brother Abel's notes before he left. Prayerfully, prayerfully, Father Xavier. The false god, because he's like the Xavier, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> Might as well just bust this open too. I don't know. So yeah, I, I'm thinking I can do the the ruby quest quickly because if the wizard's place is where I'm thinking it. But then again, there's tons of other stuff here. But I guess I'll just keep going. This will be an extra long episode. Uh. Yes, thank you. Yeah, because there's like well, this little frame rate tanky there. That's actually kind of shocking on my card and on my system. I mean, my card is not like the most newest thing in the history of mankind, but still. Just goes to show the engine can be stretched far enough that it just tanks anybody's machine. The engine is not very efficient, all things considered. You know, I mean, it was written in software mode first in the mid-90s, and then there's a window over there. Oh, there's a window. But I should probably just go down the stairs like a regular person. And there's parts of it that are really inefficient even by the admissions of folks what wrote it, so yeah, uh, probably came in here before, I guess, yeah, so, okay, so, presuming this is still part of the grounds or something, because there's at least some new stuff over there, so, just want to check it out before stampeding over to the erogenous zone of, of the mage's tower, you know. I thought it was a necromancer, but it was a wizard. Not a mage also, but a wizard. One thing cannot be another thing. All right. So just give me soup du poisson for money. Brethren, keep thyselves clear of the crypt and graveyard. Misfortune whilst repairing the eastern wall hath damaged one of the saint's mausoleums, which hath in turn called the dead from rest. The damage will be repaired forthwith at the conclusion of the pilgrim's feast. Tread prayerfully, Father Ira. Okay, well, good old unrestful dead. That's what I like to see in my crypts. Heck yeah. Oh, there's that whole place to... See, this is what I'm talking about. You just don't ever quite know how long something will be until you take a look. Anyways. <laughs> so, how's y'all doing today? Are y'all, uh... Going to a concert hall and mingling, shoving your hands onto everybody's faces and smooching and licking like eager puppy dogs, rolling around in the mud with your compatriots? Good. Oh. Okay. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Surely I've been in here, I'm pretty sure. Isn't this the place where I'm like, oh, the kitchen, it makes food and I make food and I eat it? Oh, yeah, totally was. <laughs> I guess I just either didn't notice this window or... Just didn't know it, or maybe I just didn't think I could. Wait a minute, this is the wrong window, isn't it? Well, no wonder. I'm this one, okay. Yeah, I don't know. So, let's go down to the graveyard if we can, I guess. I mean, I've got lots of holy water. Now, I don't know, if I get the ingredients for that ruby, though. Is that guy going to make me go to the graveyard? Because I'm thinking maybe I just get the ingredients and just see if that guy goes, Ha ha, I fooled you. I'm not giving you this ruby. Instead, I'm going to put you in the graveyard. Uh, good song, but that new Aussie album production is so smashed that it's essentially unlistenable. It's so fatiguing and, and horrible. Who, who even does that? One of these days, I'm going to... Just bust out the metaphor I always use, and everyone's gonna be shocked, except not, maybe. And 
Wow, I'm very decisive. In statement. Now, how do I get, you know, back? Okay, Doc, so just up here and forward a bit. Should be where I need to be. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, this thing highlights now. Okay. Oh, well, let's just stick the stuff in, shall we? Grease. Ah, <laughs> uh, not the eye, though. Magma crystal, just the entire thing. Shove it on in there. Munker mash. And the cray thing. Dispersal concoction. Awesome. So yeah, this seems a bit too easy, but so did the chalice and that worked fine, so... Well, see you back there. Seriously? Where's... where's the way out to that roof? Lore, the rich novice and the porn... Lore, it's marked as lore. Well, it's gonna tell you why being rich is bad and all that, which is, uh... Pretty, uh... Sounds pretty jaunty. Oh, let's take it, let's take it. Let's take a listen. The rich novice and the poor novice. One day, a rich novice and a poor novice were traveling together to the tomb of Eldon, lord and saint of the shining sun. At length, they came to a mountain pass north of Syrac. There beside the road lay an old beggar, groaning and weeping bitterly. The beggar turned to the rich novice. Please, sir, he cried. My leg is broken. I hunger and thirst. Have mercy on an old man. The rich novice beheld that the beggar was lame and that he had mottled and leprous flesh. He did not wish to waste his rations on a man who would soon die, nor did he wish to dirty his golden cup with the lips of an unclean wastrel. I beg your pardon, brother, said the rich novice, but I did not bring any food nor drink with me this day, and he turned aside. The beggar turned to the poor novice. Please have mercy on me, young man, he cried. Will you help me? The poor novice was filled with compassion. He knelt beside the old man, beholding his crippled limb and rotting flesh. Old man, I do not have much in way of food or drink, said he, but what I do have you are most welcome to. The rich novice looked down in amazement as the poor novice gave all the food he had. He also gave him his own cup, humble clay that it was, to drink from. The rich novice scoffed. Those are all your rations. Who is this old man to you? An old man, said the poor novice, wrapping his cloak around the beggar's shoulders. way more emotional than it should be for this. I'm young and able. I can fetch more or go without. He is old and lame. Suddenly, the beggar stood up straight and removed the poor novice's ragged cloak. His skin was clean, his hair was white as snow, and his eyes flashed like the sun. Both novices fell on their faces. My lord builder, cried the rich novice. Had I known it was you, I would have given you everything. He scrambled with his pack and tossed his rations and golden cup at the feet of the Lord. Is it not written, the builder said in a voice like thunder, care for the needy, the sick, and the destitute as you would care for me? I did not know you, my lord, the rich novice cried. I'm afraid you never did, said the builder. The rich novice's skin turned mottled and leprous. His limbs grew feeble and his fine robes turned to rags. He limped away, weeping and gnashing his teeth. The builder turned to the poor novice. My son, rise up. Do not be afraid. The poor novice rose. What is your name? Brother Rester, my lord. Young Rester, the builder said, you gave all that you had to bring comfort to a dying man. You have my tenants written on your heart and carry my name with honor. For that you will be blessed. He lifted the novice's cup of clay. This chalice is now blessed. All men who drink of it shall be strong of spirit and have renewed strength. God, it will. Hallelujah. I will, my lord, wept Rester with joy. And there Rester built a shrine for the builders faithful, a holy place where all pilgrims could drink of the chalice and find a rest. That's why he sings Restor. Uh, it's a good story. Although, of course, the real moral is the uh, the uncaring person is bad, but you said you have to bring money into it and then perpetuate the idea that just because you like or have money, that means you're a fucking asshole, and so get all fucked up in the head about that too, and then you're poor and miserable. It's great! But it's just a game, so whatever. Anyways, as I was saying, where the fuck is that window? Is this it? But where's the other way, though? Oh, it's through that hall, which, like, how do you get there even still? Just, like, I don't need to... I don't need to be here, I'm just... Oh. So... 
somehow you just kind of get there. Fine enough. I want to see a defaced poster, though. Uh, I guess I can go to a hacked forum then. Ah! Ah! Ha! Okay. I got your shit here, so like, you know, just... Uh... Wait. What do I do? Oh. Okay. It's been nice doing business with you. That dude didn't even give me the ruby, I don't think. He didn't, did he? I didn't just pluck it, did I? Um... Uh... That? What? Is that... Can, can I... Wait, can I prevent that? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a goddamn second here. Wait a goddamn second here. What if... I holy water it? Like, what if I... Okay, what if I put the potion in here? No, wait, what if I just... Huh. I don't know, let me try... Ah, oh, come on. It's been nice to win. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Safe travels. <laughs> yeah. Who the man? I used up a couple of waters, but like, hey, whatever. So, so, so that's awesome. I still want to go down to the grave. You know, let's go to the grave. How does the song go? Let's go to the graveyard. Where the rots and bones or something like that. Anyways, yeah, whatever. Ah. Uh. Yes, so, I think the graveyard is down here somewhere, so let's end it off with a nice little jaunt. You know, just in case there's anything... ...jaunty over there. There's a little... ...blip in the recording whenever it gets to that part in the loading when there, where there's blips in the recording. You know the part, right? Okay, totally, so... Yeah, good enough. So hopefully I can somehow get back up or something from here, because... Well, I don't know. I might encounter some unquiet dead. What? So, is there a whole area in the crypts that I can explore? Or... I mean, I was promised unquiet dead. Like, what y'all doing? It's all pretty quiet to me. Uh-oh. Is he gonna come out? What? That's not Unquiet Dead, that's freaking Benny. Die! God damn it! Oh. Oh, leaning past a door and get physically blocked by the door like... Oh, but wait, what have we here? Oh, awesome. Hey, there's secrets and junk. Secrets and junk. Always secrets and junk. Thou seems to have gotten thyself into some trouble, hmm? <laughs> Embry, what? No, but, you know, you sound like him. Hey. Thanks, dude. Bro, you're a bro. <laughs> what? Where'd you come from? Oh, he's, he's letting... He lets everybody out. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That, that's that's adorable. <laughs> well, that answers that then. I mean, he's he's just trying to do the builder's work. Wow, the house is a whole place. Hot Dan. And it's a crypt, which means it's kind of a maze. But I don't know. I'm going to assume. That it's, you know, super well done. Are you a, a zombie? You're just blocking a you're blocking the door, but you're not actually standing up. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm really making a lot of trouble for myself. So I guess there's tomb robbers in here, so and making trouble for them too. That's pretty funny. <laughs> wow, this 
mission just goes on and on. So cool. So cool. Ha. Pretty, um, ne never mind. Oh, never mind. Wow. A note from Germ. Tonight's the night, boys. Most of the hammers will be in the nave for the sermon, so you'll have little resistance if you want to snag some treasure for the from the crypt. Let's observe the feast in our own way. Oh, you'll go against the builder's will. You must be punished. When a person is bad, they have to be given psychic powers. Oh, boy. Psychonauts 2, you know, at first I was like, yeah, no, sequel, nah, it's not going to be great. But now I'm just like, man, I really wish to play it, but it is not out, so, so, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, etc. So I guess it's just a bonus with a bunch of loot. I mean, that's fine enough. Lots of hiding places. That guy's in the floor. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Wow. Uh... Bread, not nearly as good as apples. Ooh, okay, okay. Bucko. Bro. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, that's. that's. mean spirited. Mean spirited. Oh, yo, because there's spirits around. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just lead this guy on a merry chase until I get backed into a corner and die. So that's pretty great. Uh oh. See what I mean? God damn! Now I'm like way far back! Ugh, and I saved and loaded in the middle of a. Uh oh. Oh no. I didn't think I would have to load. I just saved because it's what I do. Ugh. All right, well, let me just look over here then while I still have time. I guess we've seen the crypt and I don't need the loot, so I probably don't need to go in there again. You get the general idea. Unless there's like some super incredible secret in there. I don't know. <laughs> no, no infighting or outfighting or any kind of fighting yet, though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just sort of quickly jaunt around. But no, I just don't think there's anything much in there. So, uh... I don't know. You know, I didn't even wake that dude up. Yep, I'm here again. Uh, these. Yeah, so I guess it's just a, a bonus. I'm pretty sure anyway. So, uh, you know... That's cool, but there's still these zombies over here. Their mumble-rapping faces are not to be seen around here again. Oh, that guy's still alive? Excuse me? Am I getting hit by some invisible zombies? Boy, that's fair. Okay. Oh, shades of fast toe... Footman, Waterman, Walker, Supreme, you know, the Unseen. The mission called the Unseen. Uh, yeah, so how the heck do I actually, in fact, get out of here, then? Dude, they're invisible. They weren't before. So I think there's maybe some new stuff up here. No, this is just this. Yeah, they're totes invisible. How the hell did that happen? I'm pretty sure that's a bug, because... I totally saw them right here, so yeah. So, and hopefully I can get back up. Oh. But not quite. Wow, do I really get a... Uh, unless there's some secret way up, but probably not. I don't know. Well, maybe up here. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can sort of cheese it out if I need to. But this this lip up here is sort of... Like, why would you put that there if you're supposed to jump up that way? I hope I don't have to... I'm not, I'm not supposed to actually go back into the crypt and find some secret exit or something. Because... 
<gasps> yeah. Wait, wait, there's... Yeah, so I don't know... Oh. I don't know what's going on with these fools, but... This is some kind of video, that's for sure. Oh, that's a secret. So, yeah, there's this ledge up here. Hmm. Oh, do I maybe rope up there? Because I don't think I can stand on top of that. So, maybe I can get over here and just rope up there. Yeah, Invisozom's not the greatest, but I don't think that rope's gonna reach. God damn, dude. Okay, it, it, it does. You know, sometimes ropes reach longer than they do other times. It's strange. Oh, well. Okay, well, this has all been fun, but it's time to bid farewell to this awesome mission and play another one, I guess. Oh, the dread life of Pirate Fen. The dread life of Pirate Fen. Where's the way back? Dude, are you serious? Where's the way back? I'm going in circles in this stupid place. That window there? That's a circles window. Look at this. I go in here? Unless there's another window in here. Nope. I go in here. This this other window is just going to take me straight out to where I just was. So what the hell's even going on? See, I'm back here again. What the goddamnable shit? Okay, I just jumped through some other window. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I don't want to get back to the start of the mission. Seriously, that's the biggest challenge of all. That's the final boss. Getting back to the start. Does this get me back to the start? I don't even know. I... Maybe? No, well, wait a minute. This is the workshop, which means I'm actually kind of near the start as it is. I think I just need to go... Hey! So... Yeah, this place is confusing, but... That's just how it is. Okay, this... There... I know this is close to start because I, I went right there to that workshop and I'm pretty sure... Who even cares? I'll just go the long way because at least I'm progressing in some direction by doing that. Hey. No, yeah. The long way. Where the hell am I? Yep, this is going to be the boring end. Me just saying where the hell am I? Okay, here I am here. So, yeah, I just have no recollection of the fast way back at all. End statement. Okay, warehouse. That means I probably just go in this window and I should be reasonably on, except not. Wait, I think I'm also going in circles now? Because I think if I go over here, I'm going to end up... No, maybe not. No, 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 I was just remembering one place as being another place. Okie doke then, moving along. Have I been in there? Surely I must have. Uh, bloody course! No, no, please, Connell. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I am the hex out of here. If, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is near. Or not. Well, nearer. Okay. I think this is maybe the right direction. I think so. I'm liking the sound of this gist, anyway. Got some good code in it. Oh, oh. Can't even muster the laughter. Yeah, so... Yeah. Is this the old man building, perhaps? Yes, it is. Which means I might actually be heading the wrong way now. Arg. Please, just... Somewhere. Just... 
Go on. Downstairs in the old man building. Is this any closer to where I need to be? Oh, I'm going in circles again. Fuck! But like, where am I? Like, seriously, this estate, that estate. Oh, I didn't even check out the Rothschild and the Castle of Hilarious. Ah, whatever. Okay, but if I go back here, I'm just gonna get to the greenhouse place. Which I don't think is really any closer. But I could be wrong. There, there's the greenhouse place. At least I recognize this landmark. Can I even get back up here, though? I don't know, Davey. Seems a bit suspect. So I think the start is like... Well, the start's over that corner, so I guess I'm maybe heading the right way if I go over here. Frick, man, I don't know. Bloody hell. How is it so hard to get back to the start? This is ridiculous. Okay, maybe... But yeah, see? This is just where I was. I just went in a big circle. Uh, does me head in? What? D fuck this! Fuck to hell! Stop the fuck! Okay, these the two windows. Good, they're different too. Okay, <laughs> so that's something. But this is like not closer to the start. This is farther because I'm supposed to be heading west. And here's the apart. I'm going in. God damn it! Okay, this. Just trying to. This isn't even a thing. I'm just trying to go this way because it says the start is like that way. I've forgotten even the compass directions now. So yeah, I mean, okay. Here's, I guess, two balconies. Are those those balconies? So if I could head south, that would be nice. Thank you. Okay, maybe this is near. Of course you're gonna make me do this, aren't you? I kind of remember, like, paths. Oh, this is it, yeah. Paths rather than actual sections of the city. Like, I remember, oh, I came this way through this area and that way through that area. So, uh, so yeah. So it's possible maybe I missed the Rothschild Estate or Castle Valerius. Like, I don't know, I just... I thought I might find some bad opera in Lady Valerius's castle, or what have you not. I don't know, I... Hang on. Well, it looks like another window I can't get into. I don't know, maybe I can get to that tower from the other side. Is that one of the towers in Castle Valerius? Maybe I can get there from the rush. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know, let's just end the mission. I'm probably missing a bunch of stuff. But that's just the nature of the beast, etc. Oh, here we are. There we go. Ha, oh, what a night. Reasonable. Twelve secrets? Nope, I'm done.